Actually, I don't teach nobody to be, you know, hate yourself because you're gay or transsexual. No, I don't want to say that. I don't even judge y'all. Actually, I tell you guys is not right because, first of all, you showed your shame to yourself. It's supposed to be male and female. Okay, and I'll tell you this again. It's supposed to be male and female. You're supposed to not be ashamed. Because if you change your body any kind of way of what you are created, you're already ashamed. Because if you were created, you know, you were first a man, then you should be a man. All your life, because if you change it, that means you're ashamed of what you were. I'm just saying. Now, if you were a, a female and you add something, you're ashamed. If you added something, no, you shouldn't add. There's a shame. This the shaming yourself. Why? Why can you be your original creation yourself? So you're ashamed of that thing because if you weren't ashamed, you'll be living in pride. Like saying, if, okay, if someone's black, you'll be black and proud. You'll be black until the day, you know, you won't bleach your skin like Michael Jackson did. He was a, uh, you know, stuff like that. Sam Silsa. You know, they, they, they were ashamed of being black, so they turned themselves white. I'm the same. If you think about it. Now, it's like the same vice versa. Now, do you, I think, do people, you know, like, you know, as in if you, but like it's, and, and plus God created you to who you need to be anyways. He wanted to tend you to be. So, I mean, what the creator made you to be is what you made you to be in the first place. You shouldn't change what the creator had made you and begin with. Am I hating you? No. Nope. Because I've been actually disrespected by gay people a lot of times. And I didn't ask for it. Yeah, and I have. Now... Just because, I mean, it doesn't matter what happened or whatever, but you still hate, you disrespected me. So, but don't worry, you know, it is what it is. But I'm not here gay. I'm not here, you know, trying to change my sex. What God made it intended me to be. Which is a man. I've been a man. I've been seeing them be born, whatever you call it. But you can see what you want, though. But my legs are muscle. Just now get this tough chiseled up into whatever case may be. You know, but I'm not, I'm not, you know, big, big like that. But, but I am whatever. You see that? You know, whatever hate me for me. You know what I'm saying? They can hate for me or love me for me. But if you're hating, you can't say it's positive vibes. Just straight up. You know, so for being positive vibes, it's just telling you why you be ashamed of yourself in the first place. You should be able, because, you know, because you either depressed because you couldn't get the time of day or whatever, then you turn the other way. That's what females do, especially. If they can get treated right, they go straight being, you know, and that's not right. You know? You just got me, you know, it's tight, you know, but I also know that the devil tries to get busy until you this and that, and which is not true. So, but, like I said, I'm not gay, and whatever. Mm.
But, um, like I said, I don't, I'm not judging, because that's you and that's the God for that. But I'm not here to whatever, but I don't tell you to hate yourself. Because the only you can be forgiven. You taught yourself to hate yourself. I didn't tell you to get six change. You hate yourself because you well you start out you know being the male. Mm -hmm. female or whatever was the case of the first stuff you mentioned I didn't tell you to hate yourself and that I would not, I never had said that but it is something you shouldn't you know yeah I don't condemn nobody but you know them from judgment nobody condemn it no but I've been through many rejections. I've been through humili different humiliations, but what God made me, he made me. So what? I'm big. So what? Can she love me for me? No, she don't know how to. Not many people do. They see me now. I could change. I could look skinny and still didn't really get the time of day. I really didn't. I was attracting just... H O E S. That's it. Hose. Hose, that's what they are. Hose would be hoes. You know what I'm saying? Horse, hose, same thing. They say, well, hose is more of a shovel, but you know, <laughs> whores and stuff, but I'm not a whoremonger. So, but I still don't treat women like females, like a piece of meat. There's a difference. They can't blame me for, you know, doing that. But, you know, at times, these days, you know, let the holy be holy, the dirty be dirty, you know. You know what I'm talking about. I know every, I don't know everything, but I do know this is the only way. Look, I actually throw a stone and just never did the same. But, um, like I said, I pray for people. I'm not judgmental. But don't come try me with gay stuff. Because I'm not that way. Don't try me. You know, don't try me. That's all I ask. I just say, it's really my ass. I don't do gay stuff. I just rather have me a wife, a female. Um, and so I have a straight female. There shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. I have a marriage. If it gets me in the end of the marriage or having a female in my life, then you really, you really have a devil. This devil's only against that stuff. So then you don't got to like me. I didn't ask you to like me. Okay, does he hate me neither? Do you see me kind of doing all kinds of crazy stuff? Nope, not like that. Mm -mm. God, will, God will always be. God will always be good to me. I'm blessed. And I'm not here condemning you, anybody. But you don't get me, don't twist up and tell me I said this neck because I didn't say it to hurt you. This is I don't deal with it. What God said in the word is the word. And I'm just trying to help you out so that way. You get on the right page, and that'd be judgmental like that, but that's it.